Hey everyone, welcome to Soulfish. I am really glad you're here. You know, I'm a psychic empath and intuitive and I help folks to open up so that they can thrive here in the third dimension. And when I shoot these videos, when I'm, you know, and whether it's the daily videos that I do every morning or just these topical kind of videos, it's really geared at the energy I'm feeling. And then uh, I'm trying to provide a message that's, that, that basically uh, helps you to transmute that energy, whether you're completely aware of what's flowing through or not. Um, you know, tools, techniques, ideas, suggestions, all designed to help lift you, all designed to help you move through, you know, whatever that energy is I'm feeling today. And today is a midterm election day, and there's a lot of anger that's around. There's a lot of uh, in the United States here, there's a lot of uh, uh, venom, there's a lot of uh, polarity, a lot of... Um, and it's designed that way. You know, the media doesn't help things, obviously, and the political format is designed to bring all of the outside functions and try to make them look as if, you know, um, you know, they're the norm, and then, you know, they create these polar, you know, rivals so that they can create a lot of dissension, increase views, increase subscribership, whatever it is, right? Like whatever. And I'm just saying to you guys, like, have you thought about that? Like, you know, take away for for example, whether you hate Trump or not, or hate Hillary Clinton or whoever the Democrat guy is, you know, whatever. Uh, whatever. Like, you know, you can fold, fall into this group. You can fall into the anger. You can fall into one side or the other in this paradigm. Uh, that's been created for us to keep us, you know, instead of to keep us at bay, fighting ourselves, fighting amongst ourselves, instead of looking at what the real issues are. Um, you know, this isn't a political video. This is a this is a inside. How are you feeling? Video. This is a, you know, an anger day. In other words, people are going to be disappointed with the results they're seeing. Um, and how do you respond to that? How do you respond to somebody sitting next to you being very upset? Regardless of, you know, like I said, which side they're on, the, the emotion is still anger. The emotion is still uh, dissatisfaction. The emotion is still, you know, kind of uh, uh, aggressive or, or what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of pointed or, or like, uh, you know, I'm saying, think about that. So it, it, take it out of politics for a minute. I'm not trying to get in your head as far as what you should or shouldn't believe in politically. I don't care. Um, not my gig. I don't, I don't. I don't subscribe. Me personally, I don't subscribe to the paradigm. I don't. I don't. Um, I, I've said this before. You know, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know, my job is to help lift people up. I can't imagine how, you know, lifting people up involves me getting into a political dialogue with somebody about something that is personal or or um, background oriented. You know, when I say background oriented, I'm saying they, you know. A, a particular issue or the reason they like somebody over somebody else is because they have a personal experience with something that happened to them and this person is anti that or for that, right? Specifically, and so that gives them something to hang their hat on to say, you know, I could believe in this person or whatever for whatever issue that they want to move forward. Um, so I get all of that. That's not, I guess that's not where I'm coming from. I guess today I'm saying it from an energy reading standpoint, from a from a what's happening today standpoint, and what you're going to see is there's just all this buildup, an unnecessary buildup, in my opinion. And you know, for an event that's supposed to happen today, uh, you know, for whatever outcome, what is the outcome? What has the outcome always been? We're in war. We're in war for how long? Um, you know, I think most of my life uh, we've been fighting somebody for some reason. Um, I'm just suggesting that. Uh, and you already feel this with the energies. You already feel this ascension energy. You know, it's like this idea that you're going to fight for peace. I mean, you can't. You can't be that guy and be this guy. You, you, you can't. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so I, I'm throwing this at you today to say this is a day where you have to show who and what you are. This is a day where you're compassionate, where you show understanding, where you step aside from the anger, you step aside from um, uh, the drama, the distraction. It's all a distraction. You know, if you think about it, if, if you know, the world can handle 7 billion plus people. I hear a lot of people talking about how we just have too many people for the planet, you know, and these are supposed to be people who look out for each other. 
Yeah. The, we're, seven billion people are smart enough to take care of seven billion people. The world, if you stuck all those people in one place, you still wouldn't fill up Texas or something. I mean, there's plenty of space. There's plenty of resources. There's, it's not an insufficiency of resources. The insufficiency lies in our, our desire not to share, to hoard, for me to have a hell of a lot more than I need so that this cat has none. You know, the, the model is designed as a scarcity thing. I get mine by taking from you. And I'm suggesting that it doesn't have to be that way. And you, it starts with you and it starts with me. It starts with us saying, hey, it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to participate in all of this BS and all of this distraction and all of this anger and all of this hate and all of this division when 90% of us are, have similar feelings about stuff. And then, you know, we're, we're kind of programmed to get really fired up about the 10% that we really strongly disagree with each other about. You know, which is which in in a lot of cases aren't even big issues, um, as it relates to everyone's interests. You know, I I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of division. It feels a lot of distraction. It feels a lot about here. It's about trying to say what matters here. You know, is more important than our ability to govern ourselves. You know, that this constant push on us that we can't govern ourselves. That. We're not <clears throat> good enough, smart enough, or whatever to uh, fix things for ourselves and to help each other in that process, you know. So I'm a believer in that. I'm a believer in me, and I'm a believer in you, and I'm a believer that if we fix us, if we become better people here, that our beingness rises, we ascend, our spirit ascends closer, uh, towards source, which is what we're supposed to do, is elevate that, right? And as such, everything around us shifts, gets elevated, and then everything starts to change because it's, 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 it's ripple effect. It's, it's exponential with all of our effort together in terms of how we're impacting the collective conscious in this time. So today, I wish you much love. I want you to be compassionate, understanding, patience. This is a good day to use patience and to show who you are. Be that person of balance that is so needed right now. Be well. Thank you.